What is up, my aesthetic boys? It's Fresh, back with another episode of Redacted by Words. I'm sorry, but I can't be hurting monetization when half of it is going to charity. I hope you guys like the video. World War II enemies reunited. World War II enemies reunited in D-Day anniversary. Man, I wonder what that conversation's like. The Nazis probably sound like, Your mixed race grandson twerks at gay pride parades. Was it worth it, Henry? Was it worth it? Well, Bob, I may not agree with everything my grandkids do, but at least they're not Nazis, and for some reason they both sound like Bernie Sanders. What, what the f*** am I doing? MTA will spend $249 million on new cops to save $200 million on fare evasion. Cops and cops and cops and cops all over the subways. Guess this is why they don't call it the Mathematics Transportation Authority. Do millennials even eat food? Contradictory studies claim they're shopping for fewer groceries, but also dining out less. Man, this is such a weird way of phrasing millennials go hungry because of financial crisis we cause, but hey, go off, boomer. My children will get privacy from me when they can pay their own bills and feed themselves. Until then, you do what I say. Ain't sh negotiable. We not friends. I haven't spoken to my mother in 10 years. Welcome to your future. If God didn't exist, how do atheists explain that there is no scientific paper that disproves the existence of God? Excuse you? A scientific paper that disproves the existence of all gods actually does exist. Here's a copy. It's written in invisible ink, and only I can see it, so you'll just have to take my personal testimony that the theory and associated duplicatable tests and methodology contained is on point. Boy, if that's the logical bar we're setting for verified existence, I'm not saying I'm God, I'm just saying you've never seen me and God in the same room together, I'm, I'm just saying. Why do people say that books like Twilight and Fifty Shades are poorly written? What specifically in the books is poorly written to you? There's a very basic test for whether characters are written decently, at least. Pick a character at random from the book or movie or TV show and try to describe them without mentioning their name, giving a physical description or talking about their role in the story. In other words, try to describe their personality. Can you do it? Can you describe them well enough that someone else who'd read the book would know who you were talking about? Does the description sound at all interesting or compelling? I watched a video in which participants were asked to attempt this for a random film, Star Wars in this case, and did so pretty easily. Then they were asked to do it for Twilight, and came up completely blank. Now this is a very basic test for characterization. Passing it doesn't make a work good, but failing it suggests that the characters are so bland and flat that they don't really exist other than to facilitate the story. And you know what, if that's what you're looking for, that's fine. All critiques of literature are subjective, no one else can tell you what's good or not. You can like whatever you like, but that's the kind of thing people are talking about when they say Twilight is badly written. It's like cotton candy, just air and sugar. If you like cotton candy, that's fine, but there's really no substance there. Twilight's kind of like watching any of the Dwayne The Rock Johnson movies set in the jungle. Sure, you'll stay distracted enough for a couple hours to forget about how she won't text you back. Right, he'll keep you entertained just long enough to forget about your parents' deteriorating health. Maybe even put down a few thousand calories of popcorn in the meantime, you worthless piece of shit. But at the end of it, you're eating greased corn in a room full of strangers to avoid facing the ceaseless march of entropy that we all succumb to. And worst of all, the average human only has about 692,000 hours on this earth, and you just spend the last two of them watching a f***ing Dwayne The Rock Johnson movie. Okay, okay, sorry, you're right, Moana's good, I'll give you Moana, but like, Rampage? Skyscrape? I mean, really? Catholic State Advocate says, it's an upside-down cross, so it is satanic. Evil. Evil. Yeah, the upside-down cross, aka the cross of St. Peter, is a Catholic symbol. Why is it so unsurprising every time Catholic Twitter demonstrates ignorance of their own religion? That's the Huntress from Dead by Daylight. I did a cosplay as her a couple months back. Oh, that's neat. I don't know what that is or what it's from, but it's a cool costume that looks like she took a lot of time to make. Yeah, you dressed up. Cosplay isn't a real word, you f***ing nerd. I mean, it is, but whatever. Anything to be a dick, right? It's alright. He's in the Navy. That's like cosplaying someone in the real military. Wow! I don't know the context of this because I'm not in the army, nor do I know a lot of people in the army, so I don't really know the dynamics that go on between different branches of the US military, but holy shit, that's amazing! 
Was Apollo 11 faked? In the 1990s, Bill Clinton and Monica Lewinsky were alone in the Oval Office. They had a consensual sexual relationship. Where is this going, Cora? Where is this going? Within two years, everyone in the world knew about it. Two people couldn't keep a secret about a blowjob that nobody cared about. Think about that. If the government can't even hide a beach that only two people were involved in, what makes you think they could hide a moon landing when the entire world was watching and our international rivals had a very good reason to expose any deception? Breaking news. Ronald Reagan Presidential Library has fires burning on both sides. Tune in. Wow, that's, that looks bad. What are we going to do? Ah, just leave it. I'm sure the water being used to put out other fires will trickle down to there eventually. <laughs> I see what you I see what you did. That's that's good. I see what you did. That's that's pretty good. Someone made an 11 hour response to my Joker video. Oh my god. Oh holy shit. Someone said something I don't agree with. So it must be about the video I made. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you know, I thought it might be a response to me because they put my face in the thumbnail and titled it Response to Jenny Nicholson. That's what clued me in. Boomer is the N word of ageism. Being hip and flip, hip and flip, really you said a hip and flip and expect not to be called a boomer? Uh, anyhow, being hip and flip does not make bigotry okay, nor is a derisive epithet acceptable because it is new. It's not acceptable because it's new, it's acceptable because it's funny. Saying your generation's official name is the equivalent of the most heinous racial slur in America is some real boomer sh**, my guy. Well, folks, like John Mulaney always says, if you're comparing the badness of two words, and you won't even say one of them, that's the worst word. <laughs> Serious question. Do females ever think, damn, he been through a lot. Let me fix him. Mm. Yeah, with that fist sign, let's go, baby. Do males ever think, damn, I've been through a lot. Maybe I should seek a licensed therapist who's an expert helping me piece myself together instead of putting my emotional labor on a woman I'm in a relationship with because that's not her job. But bro, you're literally a package delivery guy. As if that's something to be proud of, Lamau. It actually is. Don't be a dead. You should be absolutely ashamed of yourself for trying to put down someone's profession. Especially if the position is unionized and gets great pay and benefits, UPS, or tenured government jobs with amazing benefits and pay, USPS. Mail carrier is an amazing career to have if you can work your way up. Any job is better than no job, and you trashing someone for working says a lot about yourself. Be it an office job or mopping McDonald's, every job where someone is trying to make money honestly deserves respect. You look like an idiot. Delete your comment. Tesla CEO Elon Musk trades compliments with Volkswagen CEO at Auto Awards Show. Man, Musk looks travel-stained, hardworking. Volkswagen CEO looks comfortable and relaxed. Well, Germany is much closer to Germany than California. I don't know. Let's run the numbers in that. Check the map. Looks like uh, California is about 9,079 kilometers away from Germany. And Germany is... Oh, look at that. Right there. The first step to reducing your emissions is to know where you stand. Find out your hashtag carbon footprint with our new calculator and share your pledge today. Well, I for one pledge not to spill 4.9 million barrels of oil into the Gulf of Mexico. How about you, BP? Can you say the same? You can't say the same. You spilled four. You spilled 4.9 million barrels of oil into the Gulf of Mexico. Don't test me, or I might be feeling stealing your man. Oh, so we're bragging on it now? We already know that you're a cheater. Sad part is we all know why too. You're such a miserable person. The only chance you have at romance is to tempt someone who is already unhappy so they might overlook your massive and obvious flaws to give you a small ego boost before they realize you're nothing but hot dumpster juice. Literally the entire future of your love life is predicated on the hope that someone will give up and settle for you because you couldn't possibly be anyone's first choice. Grow up, bitch. You're a f***ing disaster and you need serious work. Ooh, I kind of want a shirt that says hot dumpster juice. Is that too much? No, maybe that's too much. The friend zone is basically like when someone turns you down for a job, then calls you every week and complains about the guy they hired. Well, the friend zone is basically when someone turns you down for a job, and then you start hanging out at the office lobby in case they fire the guy so you can run and be the first in line for the interview. 
Meanwhile, the guy who interviewed you sees you there, and you say hi, and lie about why you're there, so you start chatting him up every time he passes, so now he's convinced you're friends. And every time he says something about the guy he hired, you think, yes, my plan is working, only to be disappointed when they keep employing that asshole, why can't they hire me instead, I'm a nice employee, trademark, while ignoring the fact that you're basically an unemployed bum that hangs out in an office building lobby, stalking. Hashtag, sorry, not sorry. Thank <laughs> you.